I've seen online a few times talking about how endurance adventure type activities are actually bad for us because they cause more harm than good. You're going to get hurt and all this stuff and, and a lot of fear around that. And they, a lot of people start to think like it's going to cause more harm than good. You know, yeah, you're going to end up hurting yourself and it's going to set you back. and It's not worth it in the end. But like, what's the alternative to that? The alternative is to go to the gym and work out for no real reason, be extremely bored, hate it, hate your life and then slowly quit because you're just going to be sitting around there with a bunch of other people doing irrelevant stuff, not accomplishing any great goals, not doing anything you can be proud of or any, anything that anyone's going to, you know, admire from you, you know, like you're not going to actually do anything. My opinion of all this is that I used to work out in the gym. I used to do that. And, you know, I needed pre-workout just to get in there because it was just so, it was so mundane and so useless. Like nothing really ever happened. You know, it was just the same thing. My body slowly changed. But the thing is, my body has changed also by switching into this type of stuff. But the difference is now I'm actually accomplishing things. You know, I did my first half marathon. I did my first marathon. I did my first ultra marathon. I did, I've done multiple triathlons now. I'm training for a half Ironman. All these different things that I can visually see that I want to achieve and I just strive towards them and then I achieve it. It's keeping me so motivated to actually work out and actually stay on top of things. It keeps me in charge and keeps me on top of like how much sleep I'm getting and making sure I eat well. All because I actually want to achieve these things. And as I keep going, I'm obviously getting, you know, more adventurous with my goals. But I would have to say that, yeah, your risk of injury might increase. But if you actually do all the extra work that you need to do to strengthen up your body, your core, all your other you know extra muscles that you're going to be using repetitively, you're not going to see those injuries. Don't put fear into yourself so you don't accomplish anything because clearly the regular gym isn't working for you if you're looking into doing these types of things. And clearly there's something intriguing you know about doing these things. And for me, it was extremely intriguing just to see can I do this? You know, am I strong enough to compete and finish one of these things? And when you put your work in and you actually accomplish something, there is nothing greater than that. And that's going to be going to the gym and doing three sets of eight every time. It's not even close. So yeah, your risk of injury might increase a little bit, but don't be in fear because the positives outweigh the negatives so much. So just if you're thinking of something, doesn't matter what it is, but if there's something you've always wanted to accomplish or always wondered if you could do it, Go and try to do it. Don't let any type of negative fear stop you from even trying. Because there is a way around it. There's going to be a way to strengthen whatever you need to strengthen. If it's biking long rides, there's going to be a way to strengthen your back so you don't have back problems or knee problems for running or cycling. You know, you can fix these things. But what you can't fix is never being really truly motivated with your body. Never seeing your true potential. And just always going to the gym and just doing these mundane tasks until you quit and then feeling bad about yourself and then just continuing that cycle over and over and over. Do something real. Do something amazing. Do something that you really want to do. All right, head up to a trail run right now. It's been a 20 minute drive. So the only thing I'm thinking about is hydrating. I've been hydrating for the last probably hour and just sipping on water. And I'm gonna have a couple dates just to get my glycogen stores a little bit higher and then I am good to go and it's green light so I'm going to stop this video. Alright, just arrived, got my trail running hat on. The only debate now, shirt or no shirt? I could definitely use the tan. Shirt, no shirt, shirt. Three, two, one, let's do this. It's been a kilometer of just regular trail into the real trail. So I'll show you the good stuff when we get there. And the real trail begins. No shirt. So technical.
real, do something amazing, do something that you really want to do.